Job chapter 16, Job's reply to Eliphaz. Then Job answered, I have heard many things like these. You are all miserable comforters. Is there no end to your empty words? What provokes you that you continue testifying? If you were in my place, I could also talk like you. I could string words together against you and shake my head at you. Instead, I would encourage you with my mouth, and the consolation from my lips would bring relief. Even if I speak, my suffering is not relieved, and if I hold back, what have I lost? Surely he has now exhausted me. You have devastated my entire family. You you have shriveled up me up. It has become a witness. My frailty rises up against me and testifies to my face. His anger tears at me and he harasses me. He gnashes his teeth at me. My enemy pierces me with his eyes. They open their mouths against me and they strike my cheeks with contempt. They join themselves together against me. God hands me over to unjust men. He throws me into the hands of the wicked. I was at ease, but he shattered me. He seized me by the scuff of the neck and smashed me to pieces. He set me up as his target. His archers surround me. He pierces my kidneys without mercy and pours my bile on the ground. He breaks through my defenses again and again. He charges at me like a warrior. I have sewn sackcloth over my skin. I have buried my strength in the dust. My face has grown red with weeping and darkness covers my eyes. Although my hands are free from violence and my prayer is pure, earth do not cover my blood. May my cry for help find no resting place. Even now my witness is in heaven and my advocate is in the heights. My friends scoff at me as I weep before God. I wish that someone might arbitrate between a man and God, just as a man pleads for his friend. For only a few years will pass before I go the way of no return.